Goals are interlinked with teams. One thing I know is, is that being on team sports growing up, I know that there was never one or two outstanding individuals that made a team successful. What it is, is it's a group of people working in a common direction that make teams and companies successful. So we had to interlink the teams. As an example, if our Medicare biller, her job was to make sure that she got the money in in a certain period of time. That's one of our goals. But before she can do that, there's a couple other people that have to get paperwork to her before she can bill. But yet her time clock starts, we make it where her time clock starts for one person in front of her. In our world, um, when we go out and do home care, this is just a quick example, when we go out and do home care, we got and assess a patient, 500 questions, two and a half hours later, we get this piece of paper, it's called a 485. 485 is what a doctor has to sign. If the doctor doesn't sign this piece of paper, then we cannot bill for it. So, Adrian's time clock on her DSO is, say, 25 days. Well, Crystal in our office is the one who gets all the doctor's orders signed. So we told Crystal that, you know, you've got five days to get all the doctor's orders signed. Well, we start Adrian's clock the same time Crystal gets a piece of paper. First thing Adrian said is, what? What are you talking about? What if Crystal's a screw up? And it takes her 20 days to get the piece of paper signed. How am I going to get mine in, in five days? It's not going to be possible. And I told Adrian, I said, if you're as good as you think you are at what you're doing, you'll help Crystal figure out how to get those doctor's orders signed faster. That's what I mean by having interlinked goals with teams. We all have to work together. You have to figure out what that is in your world. Manager provides support and feedback. This is critical because the managers, all of our managers roll up. So in other words, if we have two or three people below them that they're managing, their EPS goal is making sure that all their people hit theirs. That's one of them. Always, 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 always. If their people below them didn't hit their goals, then they don't get their bonus. We always make sure that that happens. So we want to make sure that they're always supporting and giving feedback, they're helping them with reports, they're removing barriers and obstacles, doing whatever they can to make it happen. You know, one of the examples I just told you about was Adrian's in the billing department, Crystal's in medical records. So Adrian's boss is Al. Al would sit there and say, why are you not getting that in? And, Chris, you know, and Adrian would say, well, Crystal's not getting a doctor's order quick enough, how am I supposed to do that? Well, it's Al's job to go over to Crystal's supervisor and say, hey, look, what's going on? Let's try to remove some barriers. We're not hitting our goals here. What can we do to make this better? Who do we need to contact to make sure that Crystal can do her job better? What's the breakdown? We actually had a breakdown like this one time. You know what it was? Crystal's software program quit working. It took 20 days because you know what? Crystal's very quiet and meek. She didn't tell anybody her software program quit working. Well, guess what happened when Al found out? <laughs> Al told everybody, got the IT guy, got everybody else going. You know what? We solved that problem. It took 20 days to find out about it. We solved it in two days. Because they're all heavily incentivized on making sure that everybody hits their goals. Employees receive a personalized email result update on a weekly basis. I, I know this may sound crazy to you, but we literally give every one of our employees feedback on how they're doing every single week. We take their three areas, their three areas that they told us that they would do a good, very good, or outstanding job. We measure it, and we give them feedback on a weekly basis. Now, there's a caveat to that. There's some things that can't be measured on a weekly basis. But I'm talking about 80% of the people that I work with can be measured on a weekly basis. Okay, there's some that just can't. I mean, there's some things that only occur so often. And to measure that, it's really hard. But 80% of the people get it done that quickly. The management team receives a summary quarterly about the payout for everybody and the recognition at our all staff. So one of the last of the guidelines that we did is we said, we want to get up in front of everybody. Pay is one thing. And, and pay is, is good, believe me. They, they like the pay. But it's also very important to get it up and say, you know what? Cynthia is an outstanding performer. And she worked really hard to make this happen. And we bring her up in front of everybody and we recognize her and tell her what a great job she did. 
I mean, I literally have people come in and write 30 to 40 items down on how we can measure. This is how you should be measuring me. I mean, these are what I do. I mean, you're the one who gave me the job. You should know. I got 30 to 40 things. I said, well, you're going to have to figure out how to narrow it down to three. They're like, well, it can't happen. It's not possible. And we slowly refined it down. It actually changed the way that we do business in some ways. Honestly, we had some people that were doing so much. We're like, why do we have John doing? I mean, why wouldn't John maybe turn this piece over and he could do a better job there? So it kind of changed over time. But you may start with more. You may start with the goal of saying, you got 10. I'm okay with that. But at some point, you want to narrow it down. You just have to start somewhere. This works for me. And I'll tell you why it works for me, because it's simple. I'm not a real smart guy. So simple is good. Three things are easy. If I tell you, what are your three things you're measured on, on whether you're successful in our company or not? Tell me the three things. Everybody knows all three. If I tell you, tell me what's on your job description, what are you supposed to be doing? What are the chances of anybody being able to regurgitate what their job description is? Not great. What happened? What are the results? I'll share that with you. Um, first quarter results, we put this system into place. A lot of uncertainty. Number one is some of the people said to me, you're going to put this system in place and then you're not going to pay us. I've, got all, I've had bonus programs in the past and then you don't pay. They didn't believe us. And then they said, even if I do hit it, what you're going to do next quarter, because we were doing it quarterly, what we're going to do next quarter is you're going to make my goal so hard that I'm never going to be able to hit it again. So this thing's just a big waste. This system you have is stupid. I, I, I'll play your game with you. I'll do what you want. I work for you. So whatever you want me to do is fine. So on and so forth. Second quarter came around. People said, wow, you did pay. <laughs> I'm happy. That's great news. You paid. I can't believe it. Second thing is, is that you're really doing another quarter of this. And I said, yeah. And I said, the ones that didn't hit it, I said, what can we do differently? I said, was the measurement just not realistic? Did we miss the boat on what you're really doing? Is it not 80% of what you do, um, these three items? I mean, I can't capture everything everybody's doing, but one of our goals is, is that we want it to encompass 80% of what they do on a weekly or monthly basis. And they said, well, yeah, you encompassed it, but the goals were so high, I could never hit them. Okay, well, then we need to readjust the goals. Our goal isn't that people don't hit them. Our goal is that they hit them and they like it, and then we can get to a certain point down the road where it all flows together. So we had a lot of things happen. Top performers loved it, like you said. The golden child loves to be recognized, and they were recognized again. They love it. They said, it's about time. I got paid for it, and I got recognized. I am the best producer. Middle producers buck the system. These people that fly under the radar, that you never knew about, that work with you, they were like, this system's flawed. I mean, you don't have it set up right. No wonder I can't hit my goals. Just like everything else in here is screwed up, you screwed this one up too. Okay? Well, help me fix it. You're part of the solution. That's why you're involved. You help me come up with a system. David's not coming up with a system. I want you to come up with a way you should be measured doing a good, very good or outstanding job. I put the onus back on them. What happened with the others? They left. The low flyers, the people that didn't want to be involved in this program, they saw the writing on the wall. They knew by the third quarter and the fourth quarter that we kept doing this. Guess what it does? It takes the covers off. It exposes them. Their results are out in the open on a weekly basis. That's not comfortable for people. Some people don't like that. Top producers love it. But low producers, they hate it. 